The apocalyptic message in the Dead Sea Scrolls is the fascination of modern research. Who wrote them? Why were they hidden? Above all else, what do they represent? The discovery of the scrolls reverberated across every land of the earth, affecting all people as a time capsule of the past, a past echo from a time lost to history. Wait till you hear this. An announcement emerging from Israel regarding the Dead Sea Scrolls is being described by researchers as the most important discovery in 60 years, with the Israel Antiquities Authority declaring that an historic discovery of biblical proportions has taken place in several desert caves in the Judean desert. Archaeologists have discovered around 80 new parchment fragments of Old Testament texts. They contain verses written in Greek, with the name of God appearing in Hebrew. From the books of Zechariah and Nahum, which are part of the Book of the Twelve Minor Prophets. The fragments form part of a scroll which experts believe belong to Jewish rebels, led by Simon Bar Kokhba, who hid in the caves after a failed revolt against Roman rule between 132 and 136 AD. Israeli archaeologists began the operation in the Judean desert in 2017 to prevent caves from being looted. They also unearthed a cache of rare coins from the same period depicting the Tree of Life, which of course is a manifestation from the broken pillar and a clear indication of the preservation, a 6,000 year old skeleton of a child and a large woven basket dating from around 10,500 years ago. The oldest intact in the world, which was already thousands of years old at this location when the scrolls were deposited here. But why was this place chosen? Simply for its remoteness, perhaps? The discovery was made in a difficult to reach mountain enclosure known as the Cave of Horror, which lies some 25 miles south of Jerusalem. It acquired the intriguing name Cave of Horror after 40 human skeletons were found there during excavations in the 1960s. Experts say they were the remains of men, women, and children who fled to the cave to escape the Romans but died instead of hunger and thirst. They brought with them what are now precious objects, including cooking utensils, personal belongings, and documents and biblical text, but why not leave in search of food? Could these people have gotten stranded in the cave during a plasmatic bombardment as laid out in our series, The Squatter Man Project? It's not like the Romans had aircraft to search out these people. They could have returned to civilization for food, which was only 25 miles away in Jerusalem. 25 miles can be walked in a matter of hours. You would have to surmise that these people could not leave the cave because something far more intense than the fear of the Romans. They starved to death here despite having cooking apparatus. Marcelo Fidanzio, the director of Archaeological and Cultural Institute of Biblical Lands in Lugano, described the find as a new page in the history of archaeological excavation. He said it is the first discovery of note since the great excavations in the 1940s and 50s, which brought the Dead Sea Scrolls to light in Qumran and the Judean Desert. Discoveries of such significance, he pointed out, rekindled the excitement of the pioneers. The Israel Antiquities Authority says some 600 plus caves were mapped using drones and advanced survey technology. Besides the announced discovery, some 20 caves could still contain important artifacts. The fragments contain very small amounts of text from the Old Testament, but they still have something to offer scholars. Professor Fidanzio noted that they provide evidence of textual fluidity, which was when the biblical text was not yet stable or fixed. It was only later that the scriptures were canonized, fixed and then handed down with great fidelity to the present day. He said the Cave of Horror scroll can help scholars understand a stage which led to the definitive text, that is, 
over time when the text was changed to meet the understanding of the time when they were written. An example being the King James Bible, where a whole host of texts were simply dismissed as not fitting the flow of sensibility and excluded from the accepted accounts of the ancients. The fragments are written primarily in Greek, with only the name of God written in Paleo-Hebrew, which was used at the time of the first temple until 586 BC. The professor said that it shows great respect for the unutterable name of God. Writing in another alphabet, he concluded, is a scribal strategy that seeks to focus the reader's attention on those letters. It points God's name out as something which commands great respect and sacredness. The Israeli Antiquities Authority said in a press release that the authority has been scouring the area in a race against looters who have been lured there since the discovery in the 1940s of the first Dead Sea Scrolls considered to be the earliest known copies of the Bible and therefore the brightest insight into our past written at a time that inspired biblical narrative. Experts declared the deciphered text reads in parts with the words, these are the things you are to do. Speak the truth to one another. Render true and perfect justice in your gates. Do not contrive evil against one another and do not love perjury because all those are things that I hate, declares the Lord. Thanks for watching, guys.